estate to real estate. It's Money Matters with Dina. Second one is take care of yourself. Um, he's written down here, exercise at least five days a week. Eat well, everything in moderation, he says. Constantly educate yourself with new information and expose yourself to the arts, Broadway, dance, and museums. Aaron, why don't you jump in on that and explain what you mean by all that and why it's so significant? Well, first off, if you take care of your body, you're going to do the best you can, no matter what. I mean, it's kind of something they teach you in school. <laughs> you have athletics, you have some schooling, you, you know, you get a little balance of everything. And when you feel at your best, mentally, physically, and pride in what you do, you'll achieve, you'll achieve at levels that will make you satisfied. You know, I mean, if you hurt and ache all day, you're not going to get up to go and do as much as you could if you felt good. If you eat in moderation, you're not going to be heavy, feeling like you can't go to your next meeting or bloat or you can't fit in your pants or there's always some excuse. You know, <laughs> you, 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 you take care of yourself. You're, I mean, we're, we're machines, basically. So, you know, you got to have downtime. You have to have exercise. Exercise induces breathing and induces, you know, your body to, to heal itself. It moves around your blood. It opens up your mind, you know, gets you thinking. You know, it frees your thought. I mean, anytime, it's like meditation. Anytime you get into that, that just the breath, your mind starts getting free. And you can start looking outside the box and start looking at other things that might, might, um, might be of interest to, to you or other things that you might not be seeing in your life that you, you want to reflect on. And I think that all comes through, I mean, the exercise, taking care of living well, but also, I mean, getting out to, to, to love yourself, go and see something, you know, go do something what's different. Go look at architecture in another town. Do something what will help your brain ever grow. Because, I mean, the brain, here's what I learned from my fall. <laughs> I mean, the brain loves to learn. And the more you show it, the happier it gets and the better it performs. And new things cause it to grow even faster. And as we get older, it deteriorates anyway. So it's automatically deteriorating basically since we're kind of born. So the best thing to do is, is energize it with something new, something different, something exciting. So you're constantly growing internally. And I mean, you won't even like, there's things, what I, I don't even, I just do it for a purpose, go and see things. And then later on in life, I'm like, <gasps> I know why I saw that. That fits with this and this is makes sense and this all comes together. And so, I mean, those are, I mean, by, by, by taking care of yourself, it's, it's growing your own self to be a better person, you know, and being smart in the world, you know? I mean, arts, reading, paying attention to what's going on, you know, and, and being, being a good human is, is what really matters. And, yeah. and you know what, you know what, as, as somebody who's successful, you lead by example. Yep. I mean, honestly, Agreed. that's what you do. Agreed. You always lead by example. And and what do we want in this world? We want a world of accomplished people. We want people to love themselves and do the best they can for themselves. I mean, isn't that what we all ultimately want for everybody? And so you lead by example. You know, I think that's I think that's kind of take care of yourself. 